Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. And first break of dawn in the morning, picking up the eggs. So I'm not. Oh, there they are in the other corner. I was going to say I'm not actually seeing them showing up in my top right corner of the screen. That's because they're in the top left corner. Anyway, uh, since last episode, I did I get that one. Yeah. I went through, bought one more load of pigs, brought the trailers back over here, and uh, I went over to the cattle farm, grabbed the water tank, topped off the water over there, because I'm smart, and uh, uh, filled it up and got it ready to head back to the pigs, I think we got them all, to get the pigs all situated. Since then... We've gone through one stage of harvest everywhere, and we've got a forecast of rain coming in. Let's, that's not it. That one. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. So if we go to growth, and these colors are harvest. The one we just bought that had sunflower in it, right? We're going to put poplars in there next. But we need to harvest some sunflowers. These guys are ready to go next time, as is this one, as is that one. Didn't do a good job of staggering them, did we? Yeah, four fields all need harvesting in the next couple of episodes. Um, so we've got two loads of pigs, 18 pigs, over here. And we did bring the two trailers full last time of corn and wheat. So I've loaded up. Um, how did I get here? Can I get past that? Yeah. Back over here. So I've loaded up. Well, we had a choice of canola, soy, and sunflower. And soy was the go into here was the least expensive of them, the least valuable at this time, at least. So I went ahead and grabbed uh, about six uh, thousand liters of of soy. Got water back there, and I felt that they will hitch to each other. So that's kind of nice. We can do that and then drop it off. Um, it's five in the morning. I'm going to keep it at one speed for a while. Let's, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go to five speed until we get to about 6 a.m. Assuming I remember to reset that. Just so we can get the, the sunlight to get a little brighter and make this a little easier to see. We're going to have a lot to do before the next uh, nighttime happens. Let's lights and head on over to the pigs. Now we'll go out this way. That's the canola over there. When it hits that last stage before harvest. It's a nice. Oops. Drove over some of it. Nice, pretty gold color. Let's head up in this area. Up, up there to the pigs. We've got lots of water, which is heavy. So, what's our, our fastest rate up here? We're going to drop to 7 again. I uh, guess it's not quite as heavy as the last run. Well, we got down to 8. <laughs> Is that a road? That is a road. A little dark out here right now. Let's stay to the low roads all the way over there and all the way back. Now we got some speed. Alright, water is out over here. So let's go this way first. And see if we can get that water in there. Now, all I have to do is be within that yellow box. Well, let's play with the challenge of trying to turn that back into there. If I do this, I'm doing the opposite. Okay, so I need to go the opposite of the opposite, right? That was too far. Right there. Crank that hard this way. That should turn him in there. And pull out of it enough to straighten him up. Yeah, backing double trailers is not easy. Let's go forward a little bit. And then try... Which way? This way. Nope, it was the opposite. It's that way still. That's what we need. Now we can back out of that. He's in range right now. Yeah, we'll call it good enough. We'll just say there's a hose out there. Um, I unloads him if I've got him selected. G... Gee, that one right there. All right, filling them up. And that's enough. 
Okay, so half a tank did 18 pigs, and it'll it'll vary depending on the number of animals you've got in there. So if we had you know 118 pigs, it would have taken a whole lot more water. So it's not the capacity of the trough; it's the needs of the animals. Otherwise, let's just drop this off right here, and let's go deal with the uh, the feed. We'll top off the other ones too, and they're already making a mess. It's the corn out here that that is the mess, just like at the uh, at the um, sheep, it'll always be grass that's out there. Here it's corn. That's what it's programmed to do. And I'm kind of going in backwards, aren't I? Where do we dump this? We need four different kinds, so let's make four piles. Now, how best to do this? Let's, what do I want here? G, over to that one. Take him down, roll him up, that compacts it pretty good. Now, I need to almost make a U-turn into there. Hmm. Let's try this, and then this. Let's see if there's enough room to take that all the way back into the corner. Yeah, it looks like there is. Although I've got the fence here to worry about. Alright, take, take it hard. Actually, I, I guess we'll go for that corner. <laughs> yeah, I was planning that all along. Yeah. All right, somewhere back in there, that'll be fine. So that is a control I. Mm, after I select the right implement, there we go, control I. Now, can I use the other control? Because that's a long reach. I cannot, so it's left control I only. Okay. So that's there. Let's go put this trailer away. I can see where I'm going here. Just set him right about here. He's still selected? Yeah. Alright, let's go feed the pigs. We only have the three of the four food categories for him at the moment. Now what I'm curious about is to find out if it will just stop me when I put in enough. Let's go, actually not there, here. Pigs are here. Alright, one scoop was that quantity, three quarters, or, yeah, about three quarters of the needs for that many pigs. Hmm. We brought in the soybeans. Let's put a scoop in, and then we'll put a second scoop and see if it stops at one-fourth of a scoop by itself. Then we'll know that it's going to regulate itself. Otherwise, I'm going to have to min-max this thing and try to keep everything out of balance. Hoping that's not the case. But it's been quite a while since I have done this, so I don't remember how this version works compared to to uh, how that was the wrong button to what I remember okay so I want that implement drop him like so I need to get where I can see this this way let's see 99 that's yeah, a little better zoom out there we go and we're full Five thirty. Another half hour, then turn the time back down if it if it seems bright enough. The reason I'm I'm worried about time is that the harvest happened at like nine p.m. at night. Let's see, let's drop us over here. So we could be dropping into another cycle of harvest before long too. There we go. Fill that up. Is that three quarters? No, that's almost full. Although they've already eaten about a hundred of this. Okay. So with that, let's go grab a load of wheat. A full load should land over here. So let's see if it stops us at this point. In other words, a quarter to a third of a bucket. See if it stops by pouring out of the bucket by itself. That's what I want to know. We'll clean up the corn afterward. Though, like the grass over at the sheep and the cattle, if there's no room in the trough, it will not let you pour it back in. So we don't want to uh, top off the corn first and then try to clean up. I want to do the cleanup first. Uh, wheat, this one. 
Alright, so we want out, down. I kind of wish there was a button on the keyboard that would just automatically drop the bucket to that position without having to, you know, deal with, with trying to make it fit. We good? Right there. That'd be nice, just a, a home position. There's a mod for it, huh? There are mods, all kinds of mods for this game. All right, let's see what happens here. Theoretically, we need a quarter to a third of this bucket, and it did it. You can look over there, still 1,100, almost 1,200 in there. Okay, in that case, we don't have to worry about having the quantities just right. Let's just fill them up to the max, and we'll move on. Dump the wheat. There. Grab some more of the soy. Okay, home position. Kinda like that. Up a little. Boink. This wasn't going to need much, so we'll stop there. So, with the crops advancing, we've got some flowers to deal with, and we need to get straw over here for the bedding. So those are probably the, the two priorities of this episode. There, yeah. All right, so that's done. So now we just need corn. Hmm. Too bad. Well, okay. I know it's going to take more than one scoop. All right, we can still do this. I was going to say, too bad I can't dump this somewhere, clean that up, and then pick it back up and go dump this and grab the corn. Save me a trip. But I think we do have two trips of corn to do, so that's still fine. that. And the bucket is always the opposite of what I assume I need to do. There are attachments you can buy, kind of a joystick control for this game, that uh, will let you do the front loader with it. Yeah, it makes it much easier. I don't have one, so <laughs> I'm trying to make two mouse buttons do, and, and a, let's see, all the way to there, there we go. Two mouse, uh, three mouse buttons, and up, down, or right or left combinations accomplish all this. That gets confusing. Especially when this isn't the only game that you play. It'd be different if my channel was like Daggerwind, where most of it is just based on Farming Simulator. But when you play other games, and just other games for yourself, you tend to get the, you know, all the different controls tend to all become a blur after a while. Alright, empty you completely. Let's clean this up. Especially, well, like, uh, what were the two that had got me before? I want to say, not banished. Um, well, auction not included, and maybe it was banished. Yeah, between the two of them. One uses one button to rotate, another one uses a different button to rotate. Always messing them up. Alright, dump this off. Yeah, can I do it there? Yeah. Here. Whoa! That's a strong fence. Alright, one more load of corn, and we'll call this done. Uh, take the trailer back. Bring a harvester out to the corn, get that going. Uh, probably load up a couple of trailers. Probably the big trailers, I'm thinking. I want corn, don't I? I'm trying to think of the quantity of corn that comes out of a out of a field. I think it's more like the wheat, in that it's quite uh, aggressive. It makes it makes a lot. I'm not low enough. Okay, you down like that. OK, 
Okay, we're getting down to the end of our corn. Not corn. Um, we need to harvest sunflowers, not corn. So skip all that I just said. Corn's going to be a while before we can harvest that. Am I touching? I am. Alright, drop you down. And tip that way. Let's see if we can get the rest of this. And that is the end of the corn. Okay. For those of you who don't play this or don't have the game, it is an interesting experience to will that tractor to go right and left. Try to get your fingers to make it happen. You're so programmed to turn a steering wheel to do this sort of thing. And to use buttons. Oh, we were so close. Hmm. Oh well, let's just go put it back. I was going to say, let's just dump it here on the ground and we'll use it next time, but ah, it's not that much more effort. Let's drive over here and drop it. And it'll be a reminder where the corn goes. Okay. Yeah, a little further. Okay. So with that, let's go get rid of this little trailer. And bring the, the new harvester over with the sunflower header. Sunflower slash corn. And then come back and load up the two big tippers onto this tractor. There we go. Yeah, I see much more of the road from this height compared to driving the pickup truck. Felt more like a go-kart last trip. Wow. A little tipsy there. Of course, I am flying through at 35 miles an hour. But this will be one of the next fields to pop. Okay. A lot of weight and momentum built up. With a trailer behind me. Alright, so instead of making the trip out there to get the trailer right now, let's wait until we're ready to pick up the other two. Let's just set this over here. Alright, this guy. The New Holland. Plenty of fuel. Right header. And we're going to field 7, so that's this way. Yeah, we could take it back through the uh, through the backwoods, the same route we just came, but that doesn't feel right. This beast is just too big, too heavy. Get inside here. So, you guys can look around the cab. I'm going to try to steer. No traffic, no traffic. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> I wonder if that uh, joystick there controls the header. I if that's what that's for. In a real one. Alright, we have the potential of hitting real traffic coming up. At least I think I've seen traffic out on this road. You know, I don't know now. If this little segment here, have I ever, ever come across a, a car? I'm not sure. I think about every other road I have, but the one in front of our farm doesn't have any traffic, and I'm kind of second-guessing this one. It might not either. All right, here's our turn. All right, let's pop outside and see what we've got here. All right, X unfolds this. G, X unfolds that. All right, G again to get us back to the harvester. Like 
so. And I believe this one we can change its height. Oh, you look at that. I never knew that. Changing the height of the aim of the tube in the back. Ah, so I do the other one. Right click. No. So instead of lifting this guy up and down, like the other headers, I'm just controlling this one. Ah, interesting. Okay, then G back to the harvester itself, and I'm thinking B fires him up. There we go. Ow. So maybe I had to do that first. G. Nope, there is no lifting this one. Okay. So we're running full speed at six miles an hour. Picking up sunflower very slowly. That's not filling up fast at all. Okay. One big tipper, you think? Let's hire him out. So we're at one percent. Yeah, he's gonna be able to do the whole uh, whole field all by himself without even needing a tipper. That's what it's looking like to me. It might be five percent by the time we get to the end there. And what do you think? Eight rows, forty percent. Is this whole thing done with only half a harvester? Very possibly. Okay. Then let's Uber on out to the rest of. What is our next plan then? Well, I guess we can. Where am I? There I am. Grab the... You know, we don't even need to make that trip. We can just drive the harvester back full. Okay, let's put it this way. And move on to our next chore, whatever that is. Whatever that is, yeah. I was kind of planning on uh, using half this this episode for uh, dealing with the, uh, the sunflower back there. Hmm pop out the map and stare at it a bit, but let me think about this first before I whack something with that front loader. Move up a little bit, I go as wide as I can, and then pull in, there we go, get these guys side by side, right there, and G, Q, there we go. Alright, so what is next? Straw. And possibly a cleanup out over here. We could hit the sheep on the way out with water. Well, we're watered here now. Let's bring the water back. I left it over there, didn't I? I did. Bring the water back, top them off, clean them up, head over here, do all this, bring the straw shredder back with us. I am assuming it's over there. And fill this in. Okay, I think that's a plan, because we don't have any more fields to deal with, other than we could get a tractor working on, uh, what, what do we need here? We're talking seven. Seven needs to be plowed. Aha, and that's the one we were going to plow the headland first, which means we're not going to be able to do anything until it's all done. Okay, so there's no doubling or tripling up on this field right now. All right, so let's just deal with the animals this episode, and next one we'll deal with that, and the next one we will start dealing with all of these four that are all going to pop at the same time. We can get, I'm thinking, two harvesters going here. Uh, the old one will do soy, and the new one will do the sunflower, and or pick up our second new harvester two or three, which will eventually do this field all simultaneously. We'll see about that. That may be wiser. I'm thinking I can have the, the tractor and two big tippers, one of them for soy, one of them for sunflower, if I can keep them separated enough to where you know, it'll work, and not have to be run back and forth as much, which means I need the bigger harvester. Yeah, so next episode we may pick up a second harvester and a different one so we can see what it's like. Um, though it would make sense to have two of the same harvester. Now I take it back. I'm going to have to, I was thinking one could be using the, the corn head while the other one is using the, the regular header. But when we're in this field, we're going to need the regular header for everything. So we'll have to buy extra ones anyway. Yeah. We'll just have one that can handle, uh, corn 
and sunflower and the others will all be set up just for the the basically the the wheat type of a header okay so animals we are heading to the sheep heading back to the pigs to get the water and then going to the sheep clean this up and then we're heading out over here got my game plan all right in which case we'll just keep the front loader on here keep the bucket on inside not flip on the corner good kind of like our, our little back route here through the woods kind of boring to always have to take the, the road and go around a block that's a country mile long <laughs> Water should be off to the right. There you are. My headlights are still on. And it's 7 o'clock, so let's slow that time back down. Alright, now we should have time to deal with all of the harvesting coming up. Hopefully before it gets real dark with the, uh, the rain coming in. Are we there? There we are. Alright, so... If you get water from the, it's around here somewhere, the water trough, you have to pay for it. If you get it from the river, it's free. But I filled up in the river when I left the cow area uh, after last episode. So we have enough in here to easily handle the sheep. So it's back to the sheep. Nothing else I need to bring there. Just need to clean them up and pour some water in. I guess we'll take this over to the cattle and leave it where it's always been. Alright. Now, is there a faster route to get there? This only has one outlet, right? Where am I? Up there? Yeah, there's only one outlet. I could try going cross-country, but... Eh. Not advisable. Let's see. Whoa! F5 just did what? I have no idea what that is. It's like a grid line on here. Whoa. Is this all the places that a tree can be planted? Or did I just break the game? F5 again. Oh, turn it off. And so we'll... Boy, I'm tempted to go hit a bunch of buttons, but... Maybe I'll do that off camera so I don't wipe out the recording. Uh, nine's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Oh, F5 again. Wild. I'll have to explore that someday and see just what that is. Let's get over there to the sheep. Before I started this, I was watching uh, Night Ghosts, the first episode of, uh, of the Banish Challenge that several channels are doing right now. And after I did the, uh, the George Co-op with Night Ghosts and Vapa, I got so burnt out on Banished, I couldn't even watch it anymore. It just wasn't interesting to me anymore. It's interesting, because I've got close to, now, I think a little over a thousand hours logged in on my Steam account for, for Banished. So I've, I've played that game to death, and just got to where it wasn't fun anymore. But watching his was, there's the water, I went the long way around, kind of got me interested in it again. Enough to where I was almost tempted to turn it on and just play with it for a while instead of record this, just to see if I could enjoy it once more. Am I going the... no. I'm going to go this way. So maybe after my next trip, I've got to drive to California in a couple of days. I think I'm there. I... there we go. Maybe I'll pull out Banished again and, and just uh, give it a... Give it a play for a while, see if I can get back into it again. When a game hits that burnout stage, it's just not fun anymore. And do that. Yeah, good. And then when you try to record a series from it, it feels really forced and just not fun anymore. 
So if you've got to force it, then you don't want to be recording it. Now, I have no way of knowing where that bucket is. Yeah. There we go. We'll do that. Touch it till we hit. Let's clean this up. So maybe I'll try another Banished series this winter. I do want to get uh, uh, Rimworld going first, though. But that's a possibility. Which I'm sure will throw a lot of people. I've been asked by so many folks to go back and record Banished again. But I just couldn't do it. One of the things I think that burnt me out was... As much fun as the Mega Mod was, there were so many choices. I missed that completely. Yep, it's going to go much faster if I can see what I'm doing. Um, so many choices, and being that we were the ones that were kind of debuting the Mega Mod for everyone, felt obligated to use as many different buildings as possible so that all the different modders can get uh, good exposure to, to all their hard work. And so, when there are that many choices, you just feel stressed out to have to perform, have to put on a on a show for everyone, you know, for all the modders, so that uh, their building gets used and praised. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, and that part of it became not fun anymore. Where's my pile? Right there. So I think that's part of what burnt me out. If I do go back into it, either I'm going to use only Colonial Charter. Or I'm just going to uh, go vanilla. Vanilla? I've always enjoyed the, the Banished Vanilla. The Banished all by itself was a lot of fun for me. And I don't have to have huge varieties. And I just have fun with the mechanics of the game. So I might go that route. We'll see. But um, let's see. This is Monday. This should be airing, I'm thinking, Wednesday? Something like that. Let's see, I do need this. So, after this episode, I'm going to be gone for four or five days. So, I, uh, any episodes that come out, I won't be around to answer the comments. Theoretically. I'm not going RVing this time, so there's a much higher chance that I'm going to have uh, access to internet at the uh, motels that I, that I stop at. So, in that case, I might be able to. But, um... I'll be able to respond in game or in the next video to comments that were that were left from the previous one, like I like I usually do. The same with the Craft the World series. After uh, probably yesterday's episode, yesterday for you guys, that'll be the last one that's basically live for a while. All right. Talking while driving. I think I'm still going to the right place. Clear. Clear. My lights are still on. I mentioned that last time. I turned the time down. I never turned the lights, headlights off. That looks like cattle. In fact, I was going to go in the other route, but I can go in this route. I've already topped off the water, which I believe is way out at that end of the field over there any of you are playing this and wow helper eye is done and can't figure out where the heck the water is at so it's just hiding way at the other end of the field so this one i'm going to take in from this side and then we'll go i guess i can just kind of leave the uh hmm leave the, the harvester over there got to thinking there was something that i wanted to do that i mentioned last time and that was to get the plowing done and oops stop and um, try that that, uh, that suggestion that Murphy had. That was to take off the headlands first, then see if the big plow can handle it all on its own. Hmm. I think I will do that next time. Let's play with the cattle here since we're here. Next time, we're going to plow this guy out. By then, we may have swapped out the uh, uh, ready to harvest these fields. Very possibly. And we'll just we'll get the pro get the beginning of that going. All right, reverse. And there's our our uh, straw shredder right next to where I'm parking this. Very poorly. Let's try that again. Let's go back this way. Nope. Back the other right a little more. There we go. Get that closer to the wall. 
Yeah, something like that. And right one selected. Yep. All right. Oh, we still have a whole bunch of uh, total mixed rations already in there. Okay, we must have... Did we hit a, a run out of trough last time, or did we just make a bunch extra so that this time it would be easier? I don't remember. Let's take this out, and it sprays, I think, from either side. So let's take this over in here and turn it on so we can uh, splash a cow in the face with it. <laughs> so I... Yeah, we're dumping in. Kind of. Where's my... I guess he looks better if I do it like that. Alright, so we're emptying that out. What are we looking like over here? Filling up. Yeah. Is that happening real time? I don't think it is. Oh, it's done. Okay. So it's kind of resetting itself. Need more straw and grass, but power food's right there, I see. Okay. Let's make another batch of that. Right, remind myself how to do that. I'm going to need the other tractor. Actually, I am, so I don't need to disconnect this one. Let's turn around and go back. And for that matter, I guess I can kind of pull this in. Just skirt this edge over here. Like that. We can load it here, and then we can dump it directly in. Alright, pop out of you. And... And it was easier to have a tractor connected to that because you've got to be in the tractor to read the, the dials, which was kind of frustrating. All right, you need to be dropped off. You need to get the, the forks going. What I don't remember was the combination. So drop you down and Q. So what was it? It's at least one of each, and it's, a, it's two of another one. So we'll start with the one of each, and we'll figure out which one we're lacking. It's probably meant to be done with the bucket and silage, like over there in the, in the silage bay. That would probably give us the most accurate results. But for now, let's see if I can even spear this guy. So he goes up, like so. Boy, I want to reverse my... My mouse up and down for this. I wonder if there is a way to do that without affecting everything else in the game. Alright, you up. Like so. Hitting the ceiling. Nope. And we're clear. We're clear. There we go. This one just has to touch, and it just gobbles it up. Yeah. All right, straw next. Up, over, back. We'll go for that one. That one. And height, that looks good. Slightly uphill, lift, tip, and back. Oops. All right, it's saved. Let's go. All silage. Where am I at? There. Like so. There we go.
Just looked over at my clock. It's already 40 minutes into this. Wow. Alright, tip you in. Done. And let's pop into the other tractor and see what's actually there. So, out of you. Alright, uh, gee. Okay, R? How do we see the, the numbers? Oh, there they are. Okay. So we need more... Straw? What is that square? I'm thinking that's a straw. No, we've got too much. So we need one more of each of the others. Hmm. Let's go with uh, with the, the hay and the silage. Dump one of each in there and see where that lands. Okay. Um, not that one. That one? No, not that one. Controls, F1. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. One more silage and one more of the green bales. Like that. I got two. I almost had two. This will probably be the last time that we do this on this map. I wanted to get this in and just see it one more time. Clear? Yeah. Almost. Take it, take it. <laughs> now, it's showing full. It's, it's up there at the top. I want to make sure that that didn't just offset everything. Here in F1, well, it was enough. Let's put in more grass. Let's just see what that does. Yeah, I'm going to do that. E. Grass meaning the alfalfa, or well, the, the hay bale. Straw being yellow and hay being green. Yeah, let's clip off that edge over there. What do we got? There we are. Boy, it's hard to get a really good angle on that. Turn in. Hook it. Stop. Lift. Let's go out a touch. There we go. Up. Tip back. Out more. And we're clear. But you do have to be careful on your turn, especially swinging out this far. I made a hard turn, that bale would just flip out into the field over there. I like the firewood. We had fun doing that with the logging. Alright, let's see if you'll take a whole one or not. Right there. Lift up, tip down. Okay, let's try that. And forward. There we go. So with that, I have to believe that we're going to be in a good ratio. So it's everything but straw gets two. That's a way to remember it. And we'll clean up with that tractor over there. So this guy's done. Take him down and just set that down there. Alright, let's see what we got. F1. So really we could have used one more silage. But we're within the basic minimum requirements. We'll go with that. Start you up, and I. There we go. And then back to here. Filling up, and filling up real time. Good. <clears throat> so we need grass over here and straw. Hmm. Grass I don't have access to. And I don't believe that I've got a forging wagon anywhere with some in it. That's the way I used to do it. I think we ran out. All right, that's as good as that's going to get. Cleanliness is in the tank, so let's get that redone. F1. All right, let's see if I can get out of this space without scraping anything. There we go. Let's put him away. Yeah, I used to, when I played this game far more before I actually started recording it, I used to keep a foraging wagon just full of grass clippings, and I'd be able to add those in whenever I wanted to. But when we were doing that 
in this series. We were trying to do it with uh, uh, using only the money that we were earning. And so there was no buying an extra foraging wagon to make that happen. Had to use the one that we had. Um, Q, let's see. Yeah, you're in the right implement. And we're all within the cover? Yeah. So move you out. Clean this up. Dump them in. Then grass we're not going to be able to deal with. But we can deal with the straw. And then we'll take the straw over to the other side and be done. Which means it's probably going to be a little bit longer of an episode. Unless I go back in and clip a few things out. I guess I could do that. A few driving scenes I could have got, I could get rid of, I think. Turn to there. Alright, so with that... Up, over the railing. Hello, Cal. And drop you in. Alright. So we've got cattle. Need straw. Cleanliness will reset at the top of the hour. It's usually how it works. I was surprised these were going up real time over over here. Okay, so straw is the issue right now. And that's dealt with by that guy over there. Uh, let's back up. Get inside so I can... So my brain can make sense of my backward rights and my backward lefts. Much easier. I'm in the cab, at least for me. Right in there. Stop. Are we there? No. A little more? There we are. And this loads actually from the same place. We can load that from here. Now what's selected? Selected is G. Let's take that up out of sight. There we go. So move this into here. I don't remember if this dumps from both sides. It looks like it dumps from this side. Will it work? Um, I? R? Nope. Let's turn it around. Let me go outside so I can see this better. So you guys can see it better, too. There's one thing to be said about the realism of doing everything in cab. But it is a much nicer view out here. You're not just stuck with the little view out the window, but you get to see the cows and watch the whole room fill up as we use this. So let's try I this time. There it goes. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, let's give the cow a straw bath. Woohoo! And I think I have to hit I every time a bell goes down. Yes, I do. Okay. So there's the animation. Can I change anything? If I were to G out to... Nope, that was it. Okay. Oh, we hit the capacity. Alright. I wonder if I could change the direction of that flow, just like we just discovered in the New Holland Harvester. But we are done here, and we're taking this with us. Okay, so let's race back out to the pig farm and fill them up. Um, what's our capacity in this thing? 29. I was going to say we could fill it up with what's over there, but I haven't got tines over there. Forks. I don't. All right. Let's do this real quick. I don't know that I'm going to have enough straw in there to do the job. Let's grab one of these bales. Aim me into probably right there. All right, up. That's a good height. Decent enough angle. There we go. Let's up the other way. Back out first. No. Let's back out this way. And then that way. That's what I want. Fun part is getting these guys to fit. <clears throat> they don't... That's interesting. I've got... What's that? Four of them in there. Why is it showing 29%? That was odd. Something's not calculating right there. Or I was just looking at the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Since we've gotten all this effort anyway. Right there. Okay. 
One more time. Alright, that's aimed. Down a little. That looks pretty good. Go in to hopefully don't uh, touch the bales with the wheels. Okay. Let's tip up. If I do that, I should bounce it down the forks and on. Okay. Back out of there. Now I need to be holding kind of the top of the bale to set it inside here. So we'll see if this works or not. Not quite the way I did it last time. Alright, because our forks are going to hit the machine before it actually drops in. Alright, what we got there? Nope, a little further in. There. Now, if I back out, will it stay? There we go. Okay, so now we definitely have enough straw. Though it is odd the way it registered that. Oh, well, you know what? I wonder. It was 29% of that one bale that we were working on. That could be what was going on. E. There we go. So, it only deals, deals with one bale at a time. And we just hadn't... Let's see, where am I going? This way. Hadn't finished that bale yet. That's probably what that really meant. Yeah, I'll go with that. That sounds right. So I'll meet you over there at the pig farm. Alright. This one loads from the back side, if I remember. Although, back up, we've got to do it from the right side of the of the blower. So I'm gonna have to go around this way to do it. water there. And this over here is straw. The idea we're blowing their bedding in. Alright, so right implement I. There it goes. You can hear it firing up and turned off. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I see it finished off that one bale. Huh. And that's it? Less than a bale? Interesting. Try again? Nope. Okay, well, that's what you want to do, huh? Okay, so with that, then, let's see. Pigs, cleanliness good, straw, water, we're set. Everything but potatoes. So that's giving us a product productivity of 85%. We get potatoes or sugar beets in there, we'd go to 100%. Cattle is showing 100%, which means this has not upgraded yet. That's my guess. Otherwise, sheep are looking good too. Wool production. Yeah. So, with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.